I'd find a dead fetus and bathe in its amniotic fluid. Did you shoot me? No, I swear to God, if you don't stop, I will shoot you, Joe Cullen. I'd find a dead fetus and bathe in its amniotic fluid. I'm coming for you. I have to get off in a couple of seconds. Dildo acid. I ate your cum, and it threw me over the board. Did you shoot me? No! I swear to God, if you don't stop, I will shoot you, Joe Cullen! I'm coming your mouth, Joe. Whoa. I'm coming your mouth, Joe. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's the MK Ultra. Yeah, something is fucking weird. Something is fucking. Somebody milked this cow the wrong way, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody milked this cow the wrong way. His cow. Did you shoot me? <laughs> Yo, I swear to God, if you don't stop, I will shoot you, Joe Cronin. Lick my asshole! Ah, 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 ah. You're gonna find me dead! I'm gonna kill myself! I'm gonna be hanging from the back! Don't ask me to do nothing! This is nothing! I'm gonna kill myself! Hello! Belly, you cunt! Fuck yeah, I got everyone's addresses, man! I got everyone's fucking addresses, man! Dude, I will eat your fucking asshole out and then spit it into your mouth, baby bird style. I hope you hang your mother. I'll come in your mouth, Joe. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, what's going on? I finally got the mixer working right. I just I don't know what the hell's wrong with it. I couldn't get it working here. It's working now and I'm live. It's two forty five PM on the East Coast, and I am live right now as I stare at the chat. Lots of craziness going on uh, today that we can read about, talk about. You know, we're going to go there. Definitely going to go there. Bitches be real. What's up, Shardy Janetti? That's got to be one of the all-time best clips, the bitches be real one. Hopefully I'm loud enough too. Tell me, let me know if it's not, uh, if it's not true. If it's not loud enough. I think I am loud enough, but if I'm not, let me know. I thought the other day, something with the audio was off. I don't know why it wasn't never. I'm never usually like that, but man, it was, it was soft the other day. Like it was low. 
I was listening back to something and I saw the comment like, man, turn the volume up. And I, I was like, shit, he's right. I can't hear anything. And I don't know what that was about because normally that does not happen to me. But shout out to Shardy uh, in the chat because Shardy is a legend here along with Paul 3, Ryan the Heel, and just about everybody else. And uh, let me get the donos on in case somebody decides to give money because we are a church at this point. You know, got to pay. I'd like to pay for Jake's uh, hospital shit this week, so uh, see if we can do that. Also, I'd like to pay for my cocaine habit. I'd like to do that. It's always good to pay for my cocaine habit, you know, so I can rub it off on everybody. You know, I'm trying to teach, I'm trying to teach the family about, about, about how great cocaine really can be. And they're like, you know, you shouldn't do that. You know, they, let's have interventions, you know? And so I have interventions for them about not accepting how awesome cocaine is, you know? And when they say to me, like, it ruins lives, it destroys your life, it destroys everybody's lives and everything, I just tell them, listen, entropy is a natural thing. It's happening everywhere. All systems are breaking down. That's all this is. is, is, is it's like self-inflicted entropy. It's crazy good. It's amazing. You know what I mean? You're, and how do you know I don't feel better? You know, you're worried about, you know, keeping your job, keeping your house, keeping your car, keeping all these things. And, you know, I should be stressed out about those things, too. But you know what? I'm not because you know what? I'm fucking lit. And I don't know what's going on. And I'm like, you know, so while you're sitting there having anxiety attacks and panicking over shit and thinking and applying to several different places, you know, I'm sitting over here. You know, that shit's fun. That shit's really fun. It's a fun day today. Um, you know, it's been a wonderful day. If all things go right, we'll be live for a long time here. Um, negative and uh, well, let's see all the things that are terrible. Well, we we sent the belt out to Garguts, you know, days ago, and that got lost, <clears throat> and they figured it out or whatever. But now it's just being sent out because they lost it or whatever. You know, which is because nobody works at the post office right now because nobody uh, nobody needs to work at the post office because everybody's getting the unemployment. And since companies don't pay enough money to begin with, people are just like, I'll just stay home. You know, just I'll just stay out of this. I don't need to work. Sure. I'm sure you're seeing it in your local places. My stores out here are closing early. They don't have supplies. People are like freaking out on pay on uh, on like on workers they're like taking it on workers like somebody is at a restaurant and they're like i'll take the beef sirloin and then you know one of the work you know, one of the waitresses is like you know 16 year old waitress is like um we're actually out of that you're out of that how can you be out of beef sirloin and um you know it's just <laughs> It's and then and then they're like, you know, you're really a, you're really ridiculous to be out of that, you know. And then they're just getting in fights in restaurants with people. It's really terrible. And we looks like we got some donos coming in, so I'm gonna I'm gonna read those in a second. Thank you for the donations, by the way. It certainly helps. I'm negative one hundred dollars in the bank for the first time in six, six years. <laughs> what goes up? Must come down, folks. Let me tell you, what goes up must come down. But no, the real reason is because, you know, Google doesn't pay you until the 23rd. And now it's like, now that we don't get any don as many donations anymore, and most of them come through Super Chat, Super Chats don't come through until the 23rd of every month, you know? So I, I paid everything like I normally pay everything this month, but I didn't think about the fact that we had way less donations. Uh, way less. And then on top of that, a lot of them were were Super Chats instead of the PayPal ones from Streamlabs or Stream Elements down below. Um, and they come in on the 23rd, so I paid things off the normal rate, and I didn't realize it. So funny enough, there's money coming in, but it's not until the 23rd. Uh, so sorry to Jake uh, and everybody 
but go to hell. Uh, so thank you for those donations. I uh, will read them in just a few minutes and play them, of course. They are important. Um, but no, going back to the restaurant thing. So I asked people on Twitter and on the Corrupted Nation channel. 78 people voted on Corrupted Nation. Let's see what it's at right now. I said, what's the solution? Um, not enough items, trucks, and workers right now. What will get what will get people to work again is what I said. And um, stop unemployment was has is winning. I voted for pay people more because I really think that's part of it. But I also needed to vote for something in order for the poll to show up for some uh, goofy reason. So pay people more takes a second place to that. And uh, number one, stop unemployment. So 15% of people said both, though. Hey, stop unemployment, but also pay people more. Hmm. I, I think I like that one. Like pay people more and and get rid of the the new unemployment. I guess like get rid of unemployment is wrong because it's like we're not going to get rid of unemployment, but we're like we're getting rid of the extended unemployment, you know, that's causing all this. I guess. Um, you want the peasants back to work, don't you, government? Don't you? You want the peasants to come back to work, don't you? That's what I did to Batman. I told Batman that if he didn't go back to work, I'd feed him to my gay dogs. That's right. I buy dogs that like other boy dogs. And I love when they bite Batman in the dick. I love that. Um, but no, it's an interesting thing, a debate we could get into at some point later or at some point time today. I don't know. There's a lot to talk about as far as it goes. Dildo asses. And thanks to everybody who jumped on the Patreon, by the way. Patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. You know the deal. Uh, let's check. Let's check the... Uh, there's a lot to talk about. I have a lot of things queued up here. I really do. So, you know, there's going to be some shit to talk about today. But, um, looks like, what up, James Mesner? How you doing, brother? James is in the house. As opposed to being out of the house, where you can get struck by lightning like the George Floyd uh, memorial brick thing. That was struck by lightning. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. That's crazy. Shit bomb. Shit bombs. This is for your cocaine habit. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Shardy Janetti. That is five dollars off the negative one twenty three. I appreciate that. That will make it one eighteen. <laughs> uh, Shardy, thank you for the five dollars, man. Super appreciated, brother. How are you? And thanks for becoming a five dollar uh, shit bum, Shardy Janetti. You are really one of the most sexually, uh, like, alluring people in this entire community. To be honest, so thank you for that. But James Mesner, thank you, Jesse James. What up, Jesse? Don't worry, man. We aren't we all? A lot of us are poor, lo uh, poor losers. You know, it's all good. I know I am. You know, it's been great. It's been a great time, you know. You know, when you when you make your when you make your job YouTube, other people with other jobs will, you know, they're like, yeah, let's try to take, you know, we'll fuck, you know we'd like to chip chip that off, you know. Get back to here like us, you know, get back to work like us. You know, that's what that's what people want, really, you know, and that's what happens and happens. And we always knew that would happen, uh, John. So I appreciate that, though. What up, furry balls? OK, so what else do we get? So we'll get into the John Cena stuff and the wrestling stuff coming up. But. Should we get that first? I don't know. Let's let's throw it. Let's throw a poll in the chat. What do we do first? Cena. Or news. What should we do first? 
what to do first. We'll ask the community. And while that's going, while that's happening and the poll's working, it's uh, magic there in the chat. There's plenty of other stuff to talk about. And I'm talking about anime porn. That's right. No, I'm just kidding. No, we don't want to talk about we don't want to talk about anime porn. I'm joking. Um let's see here. Uh well they, they killed the uh the South African uh guy, right? The the uh, the president or whatever over there. Or in Haiti, right? It wasn't in Haiti. And now the Brazil uh president or somebody, right? Isn't he sick now? So now he's in he's in like friggin' the hospital. For abdominal pain. I'm saying food poisoning. You know? But I'm saying food pay poisoning. That's my guess. But yeah, the George Floyd memorial was struck by lightning. And I don't even know what the narratives are yet, but I guarantee you that the George Floyd memorial, brick memorial uh, being struck by lightning... Um, I'm going to say that like people on the left are like lightning's racist. I'm going to say people on the left think lightning is racist now. And also that it was a sign of like the angels touching George <clears throat> or something. There's a picture of it exploded after lightning hit it. And I'm going to bet that the right wing people are going to say that it was a sign from God, you know, or God stepped in and took over or something like that. So both sides will just make it about how it benef like how it supports their belief of whatever their belief is. Right? So that's my prediction. Is that both sides use it to some weird advantage of how the, this is God touching George or this is God striking George or striking everybody like it's a sign, you know, or r lightning is racist, you know, or lightning is doing God's work. You know, it'll be it one, one of the way, but either, just either way though, right? It's obviously dumb, but don't you see that the regular people in the world now, or at least the people that like love all this stuff are now becoming the, everyone's becoming superstitious, crazy. Everybody's becoming crazy. I think that's the point in the world right now. Everyone's becoming a goddamn nutcase at this point. Nobody's happy. Everybody believes in something that doesn't make sense. And uh, that's about it. That's really all you need to know. And everyone's going to fight about it, you know? Someone's going to say the earth is flat. Someone's going to say, no, you're dumb. It's round and you should be killed for saying it's flat. And the flat people should be saying you should be killed for hiding the truth. And other people are going to say that the uh, COVID is the devil's work. And other people are going to say that the uh, COVID came from a lab. Other people are going to say that you shouldn't talk about that. You should be locked up in jail if you say that. Other people are going to say that you should be locked up in jail for protecting that. And basically what it leads to is complete and utter chaos, right? Utter chaos coming to the world. Ah, as I sip my black dragon coffee or whatever this is, it's going to make me shit myself probably in the next couple of minutes. Force me to take a commercial break. I'm betting. Just unpressed, unbelievable. Let's take a look at the, uh, wow, it's pretty close. People want to talk about Cena. They don't want to talk about the news. Let's talk about Cena. So first, we will talk about John Cena. We also got Star Trek 4. Star Trek 4. 55 votes. All righty. Let's end that poll and let's go. 10 bucks. If you got a topic you want, drop it. You gotta love Cena, baby. Your time is up. My time is now. A lot of people may know this already, but, you know. Shit's crazy. So, John Cena's coming back. We all know this. Big spoiler, potentially. Feel free to block your ears, but, I mean, we pretty much all know most of this anyway. 
we all believe John Cena is pretty much expected to wrestle at SummerSlam in August, late August. Um, lots of people also saying that John Cena can't do SummerSlam. But most people are saying Cena is ready to go for SummerSlam. There's no been no word on when he will actually return to the TV or when he will show up. But we do have this report coming in from Fightful Select and Cyclops um, that working plans for Cena are to return on SmackDown. And there's an actual date, which I won't read. Um, but if you want to see it, you can look it up. It's He's going to return on SmackDown potentially. I'll, uh, nah, fuck it. It's July 23rd. Screw it. Who cares? So we'll see if that happens. Cleveland, Ohio. Wow. SmackDown scheduled to take place. Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse in Cleveland, Ohio. Wow. What a great place to, de- to return to. I mean, I can't think of a better place to show up in than Ohio. <laughs> I mean, you're like, yo, I think I want to come back uh, at Cleveland. That's where I want to come back. You know, I've been gone a while. Things have been going on. I've been filming all this stuff. It's been so long since I've seen the WWE universe. I could come back in Florida. I could come back in New York. I could come back in somewhere else nice. But no, I think I would like to come back to WWE in Cleveland. Fun times in Cleveland today. Cleveland. Come on down to Cleveland town, everyone. Come and look at both of our buildings. Buy some food that's prepared near the street. Who knows, you might even see this guy. You should come on down to West 6th Street. It's the perfect place if you're a douchebag. Watch the poor people all wait for buses. Who the fuck still uses a payphone? Here's the place where there used to be industry. This train is carrying jobs out of Cleveland. Cleveland leads the nation in drifters. Here's a statue of Moses Cleveland. He's the guy who invented Cleveland. Yeah! Yeah. So that's uh that's what you decided to do, John. You decided to return in fucking a dumpster although what isn't a dumpster fire in America right now, I guess. Really. You know? I mean, we're pretty good over here in Massachusetts and New England. Come over here to New England. Fuck Cleveland. It's pretty nice over here still. You know? Because we have all these checks and balances of left and right. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not really sure. But no, you're going to return in Cleveland, you fucking idiot. Fun times in Cleveland again. Still Cleveland. Come on down to Cleveland town, everyone. Under construction since 1868. See our river that catches on fire. It's so polluted that all our fish have AIDS. We see the sun almost three times a year. This guy has at least two DUIs. The flats look like a Scooby-Doo ghost town. Don't slow down in East <laughs> Cleveland or you'll die. Our economy's based on LeBron James. Buy a house for the price of a VCR. Our main export is crippling depression. We're so retarded that we think this is art. It could be worse, though. At least we're not Detroit. We're, we're not, not Detroit. Detroit. Oh, man, that thing never, never not. I mean, that thing never disappoints. Let's be honest. Never disappoints. I have to get off in a couple of seconds. Okay, go ahead. Feel free to get off at any point. Let's go to the donations, which you can find in the description box down below under Streamlabs or Stream Elements uh, down below. Check them out, especially the Perfect Sparrow one. That's the real hot one. Or the Super Chat on your mobile device or desktop or whatever. I'm Joe Cronin, and at JCS Commentary on Twitter will make you wet. 
Dunkachino? Don't mind if I Let's do. Go for a Dunkachino oh, right my now. Name. Dunkachino. It's a whole new game. Dunkachino. You want creamy goodness? I'm your friend. Say hello to my chocolate blend. Having extreme anxiety lately, this helps. Let's get real. Let's get real, James. Um, yeah, man, I'm there with you. I didn't used to have it when I was your age, but boy, do I have it now. Let me tell you that. Um, hit that like button, by the way. We are on our way to 69 likes, which, you know, daddy likes, by the way. Uh, James Mesner, what's up? Appreciate it. You'll be all right. So John Cena, like I said, July 23rd, returning to WWE, potentially on SmackDown, the rumor is saying. Uh, cool. So we get John Cena back, uh, but we're also, you know, WWE's trying to flirt Lesnar out there, but then they take away Lesnar. So, you know, I don't know what's going on with that, with why they're back and forth. I, I assume they're just trying to throw everybody off, you know, and potentially they could say that Cena's back on July 23rd, but really it's you know, Lesnar, and then Cena comes back the next week or the week after that week even. So I would almost wonder if they save Cena for the... I don't know, man. I, I wonder if the Cena news is just going to keep picking up more and more so you'd want to get it done now. Get him out there now or if you want to do it a little bit later. Um, you know, I don't know. Drew, go ahead. Do it. How much further do you want me to dox you? <laughs> you got your Spider-Man ornament? You don't know where it is? Yeah, because I want my Spider-Man. You know, you know who knows where your Spider-Man ornament is? Yeah. Mommy. But it's a Spider-Man. It is? A Spider-Man ornament? All right. Well, go go upstairs and ask Mommy, and, and if she's laying down, wake her up, and uh, or whatever she's doing, and bother her and say, Mommy, Spider-Man ornament now. And give her a big hug and a big kiss and say, wake up. I need Spider-Man ornament if she fell asleep. Okay? Or just bother her while she's doing dishes and, and cleaning the house. Just pull on her pant leg and say, mom, Spider-Man ornament. And then and then, and then pinch her in the thighs. And tell her, but tell her daddy said to do it. Okay? Dildo asses. All right. I'll be done in a few. Daddy's at work trying to earn milk money. All right. Just trying to earn the milk money here. Oh, look at this. We found Leah. Wow, Leah, what, uh, what's going on? I'm coming for you. Oh. Wow. I have to get off in a couple of seconds. All right. Let's, let's chill that out, Tom, okay? Tommy boy. All right, let's calm down. Let's relax. All right, stop it. It's the MK Ultra. Yeah, something fucking weird. Something is fucking. Somebody milked his cow the wrong way. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> somebody milked his cow. <laughs> milked his cow. <laughs> something wrong with me. Something is wrong with me. Oh. We are moving towards an anti-governing society slowly, society slowly, but surely around the world is this trust in government brings about change, negative, short term, positive, long term. Yeah, you know, it's a it's an interesting point, James. We could be looking at. I almost wonder if we're going to be looking at a whole bunch of individually governed mini societies, right, James? Like, let's say a group of people want to call themselves the the Neo Dildos or like the Pink Beret or like the Pink Butt Pirates. And so what they would do is they would actually exist, right? Like, like you know, the people who are like, oh, we're not part of the government. We're whatever they, they don't, we don't have to respect the laws. We're whatever the hell. What do they call those people? Like, they're like, oh, I'm a whatever person, basically a grifter. But they're like, yeah, you can't arrest me because I don't I don't recognize your laws or whatever. 
but see, that's like a bogus thing. It's like, okay, so I can kill someone and get away with it because I said so, but you can't, so you go to jail. I'm more talking about like farming societies, like Amish, Amish type of things, right? Like, like, all right, we're going to go live in our own town. We're not going to abide by the government laws, by any of the state laws, by any laws. We're going to have our own town's laws, you know, and that's about it. So, you know, and, and, and I could see people being like, we are called the, we're called the, the fucking Geo Samaritans. And Geo Samaritans start happening all over the world, right? Like Geo Samaritans set up shop in England. They say, and it becomes kind of like a religion in a way. You know, people that want to live off the land, live off a of technology as well. They create their own internet server servers, like whatever they got to do. You know, I don't even know where to begin with that, but I'm just saying I could see that type of thing. But then there's also people, you know, in the city still or in the, you know, who are still run by the government, you know, who are fully run by the government. Um, so they've and the government will have to, like, you know, offer you more protections and stuff like that. And eventually you would think that the people that pull away from the government would be well off and. I uh, would maybe be more well off in, in a way because they would help each other and work together and form these communities. But it's hard to say, like, it, will it be a good community or a bad one? Like, cause like a bad one is like, what is like Washington where they did the whole autonomous zones and stuff like that was not good. Right. That was bad. But will this be like that? I don't know. That's interesting because people are sick of the wages and sick of the things. Sovereign settler. Thank you. Yes. Um, sovereign citizens. Thank you. You guys are right. I just couldn't think of it. But yeah, but not sovereign. I wouldn't form sovereigns as much. But, you know, well, you don't want to turn the power off on them, Paul, because if you turn the power off on them, then they're coming to your neighborhood. You know what I mean? Or they're going to find your neighborhood. You know, you don't want to. You don't want to turn off the power to the cities because, yeah, they'll find your house. I've been, and it's weird, why do I, and, and here's another question, why do I, Joe Cronin, who's always been a science, always been a technology type of person, wasn't taught too many things as far as like living when I was younger that wasn't, you know, I, I outdoor stuff, like I wasn't exactly trained on a whole bunch of things but recently it's all come back into my head and recently I've been studying as much as I can about growing plants growing food there's got to be a natural instinct that's taking over in my body and in my brain about you know how to grow chi how, how to work chickens how to grow flowers plants you know, how to take care of things, how to, you know, live in the wild and all these things. Why are all these things happening to me? You know, why am I all of a sudden going through that idea um, of stocking up on certain things and seeding and and all these things? And part of it is the fight or flight of what's gone on over the last couple of years. But it's got to be something to it because I've always I've, I used to think, oh, I just whatever. The government will do it or will do it or it'll just be provided. I don't got to worry about anything. You know, I used to think that way. Why do I, why, why in the past couple of years, even the past couple of years, I've sort of spent a lot more time trying to learn things and work on things and grow things. And, you know, it's like all of a sudden in my head, I decided, oh, I should probably know this or, or figure some of this out. And I don't know why that is, but. It's weird. Um, interesting stuff, man. No doubt about it. Uh, so, yeah, John Cena, man, back uh, July, potentially in July is the rumor for Cena, which makes me wonder if Brock will be back in August or not at all. Or maybe he'll be the surprise to throw you off of Cena. I don't know. You know what I would do is I'd bring Brock Lesnar back early in the night and everybody would be like, oh, my God, Brock's back. 
holy shit, and then later on you bring Cena out. That way people can't believe that Cena's there now. Because, like, Brock already came out, so you're like, okay, he's the surprise for this week. I mean, there's nothing else happening. Or is Brock Lesnar going to come back for Monday Night Raw because USA Network will probably be pissed that Fox gets John Cena back and the USA Network doesn't get anything and their ratings are tanking. So maybe Brock Lesnar is being brought back to appease the USA Network. I didn't think about that one. But uh, interesting. But coming to a school near you, a brand new teacher, she's got a great book. Advantages and fewer barriers to overcome than people of color. So then, what is white privilege? White privilege is when people who are white have additional benefits, advantages, and fewer barriers to overcome than people of color. People of color are folks with black or brown skin or of a specific race or ethnicity. That doesn't mean that if you're white, you aren't talented or smart or your life is easy. It means that you have extra privileges just because of the color of your skin. Really? Yes, really. So what are some of those advantages? Sometimes they're small. And sometimes they're really big. Like you. Like the privilege of always seeing people who look like you in books and movies. That might seem like no big deal, but imagine if no one looked like you in your favorite movie. Wouldn't that make you feel left out or sad? It's like, I get the point of this because it's true in some ways. It is true. Like, the, like, think about how people feel when they're left out of a group. I mean, I've felt left out in a group before where I was the only white guy. You know, I, I've felt weird. Like, oh, man, like, I'm going to be looked at weird. But why are you reading this to kids? That's the problem. Like, I get it. You get it. We all get it. Like, if you're, you know, if everybody at a costume party dresses up and you show up to the costume party without the costume on, people are going to make fun of you more. People are going to be like, where's your costume, dude? You know, and you're going to, and things are going to be different and weird for you. So I get that. This actually does have merit in a way. But why are you telling it to kids? I don't get that. What's up, Finn? What are you, speaking of kids, what are you, what's going on? I think, wait, Dad, I think, you want to be on camera? Dad, 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 Dad. What's up? I think I know something. What do you know? My phone has the red eye game. Oh. So we can look for it. Okay. And charge it. All right. Well, go go show mommy and we'll see. I'm going to tickle you. You like everybody. You don't care what color anybody is. Come give me a five. Does your, does your bird come follow us? No, it doesn't. Why? I don't know, but go go get mommy. Go get her. Go give her tickles and, and get her get her down here. I need to talk to her. I need to ask mommy something. Go tickle her for me. I got to go back to listening to this overweight person who needs to go to a doctor talk about stuff with kids. Or it can be in the people who are usually in charge, like teachers, your parents' boss, and presidents. Those people are usually white. Oh, like uh, President Barack Obama, who was just the president for eight years, or Kamala who is the vice president now uh, or the Hispanic and black cops that make up like California, like more than half of their police. The MLB baseball isn't filled with Hispanic, Asian and black players. The NBA isn't like 90% black. Doctors and lawyers aren't black. Dentists. Well, dentists are usually still pretty white, but you know what I mean. What the hell is she talking? Why do the why do these people act as if black people don't do things? Why do they treat black people like fucking pets? Stop treating black people like pets. And it's always some fat white slob female. I don't know why. It's always some fat white female, by the way. That's the that there there's your problem with white people. It's always some fat white 
angry person who treats black people like pets. <laughs> this is going th this person's going to teach kids. Someone needs to teach her about fig newtons. This is probably something you've never really thought about. That's okay. That's okay. You're probably not psycho like I am. But don't you often wonder why those people are often white and not another color? No. Kids don't wonder that, usually. White privilege could also be in things you don't have to worry about, that people of color do. Like, feeling unsafe when you walk past a police officer. Having people assume you're bad at something because of your skin color. Easily finding a band-aid that matches your skin tone. I get anxiety when I drive by a cop. Like, all the time. Because I'm like, oh no, what if I, you know, what if he pulls me over? I don't know. I've had guns pulled on me, so I mean that's my experience. So you can tell me whatever you want. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what does happen though is like, um, you remember the story about the guy putting his ID, what on the right on his uh, top of his uh, wheel at night because he didn't want to have to reach for the glove compartment. I definitely think there's something to that. Definitely, like I mean, she's not wrong with some of the racism and disparity. She's not wrong. But why are you teaching it to kids this young? They don't know what the hell's going on here. All they know is like, I like everybody in class. I don't know what you're talking about. What? People do that? I don't know. Like, they don't even know. They're just like, I love you. Like, they don't even care. You're like, oh, you know, do you like Ben? Yeah. You like Ben even though he's black and you're white? Yeah. What? Just because we're different doesn't matter. That's what kids always say. Because kids aren't crazy like you. You know? What the hell is this? Or people always asking you where you're really from. These are just some of the ways... Where are you really from? By the way, um, I don't know if you know this lady, but we literally have... We actually have two people. Two people from other countries from other countries not white other country people fighting with each other a couple of years ago and they actually one of the ladies said where the fuck are you from where are you really from so the the two people from the two people in america with accents from not america who are now living in america got in a fight and one of them said to the other one, where are you really from? Oh, where are you from? Do you know why people say that usually? It's because they're in some kind of an argument and they're getting angry. And now they think the reason why this person's being so difficult must be their culture, or must be their thing, which is not a right thing to think, but you're out of your mind at the time. And so this person went like, where, the f where are you from? And they flipped out. Did anybody remember that? It was me and JB and... I don't remember where the... I thought I posted it recently, actually. Uh, does anybody know if I posted that? I swear to God, I did. Did I post it on Patreon or did I post that on YouTube? Does anybody remember? If you do, let me know. Because I, I don't... I swear to God, I posted it somewhere recently. And I was like, oh, yeah, here, you know. It was somewhere recently. And I think it was... I want to say Patreon. I believe, but it was like, uh, it was hilarious too. I mean, it's like one of the funny, um, it's like one of the funny clips and I don't remember, it must've been in like, I want to say I posted it in June if I did. Um, but yeah, it wasn't, it was a while back. I'm trying to see, but it was so funny to me, man. It was like this lady was pissed. And it's like, dude, that's just weirdly human nature to just scream at somebody. Is this oh, it? Yeah. You're easily offended, then you need to. This might be it. Is it hard to check them? You take this to, I guess. Oh, this uh, is it. Probably is this. Like this is Natalia. Muslim. Char gets up, boards. You know, Char's Elder Kane fight. Oh, here it is. And starts bashing on Evander Kane's face. A clip of a lady. Uh, you never know what to believe nowadays, but here's the clip of this lady screaming, go to your fucking country or get back to your fucking country or something. 
Uh, let's see. To who? To, I guess... Uh, a Muslim? A hate crime against a Muslim woman in a Houston Kroger. Well, good for that Kroger associate or whoever screamed oh, come a Muslim. Oh, God. She probably saw these people Get cutting, cutting pussies off over in the other... Sounds foreign to who? Wait a minute. The, oh, Play that back. Play that so, back one more Wait time. a second. So this is... This lady, I believe, She's is... Russian, jaw. I think... Is she Russian or Hispanic? This... Huh? Yeah? Again? Fuck you, yeah. Fuck you, you bitch. You... Fuck you. Get oh. the fuck back to your country, bitch. Get the fuck back to again, your country, Again, bitch. please. Again, please. Get the fuck oh. ass fucking oh. in your ass. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Born the golden eye. Yeah, you see, I mean, this is just something people say when they get mad and they see someone who looks different than them. They don't know what to say, you know, or they don't want to, maybe they don't want to say the racist term. So they're like, get back to your country or where are you from? It's so natural, dude. It's like if I went to, if I went to Africa and I went to Africa, right? And I did something in a, like I did something wrong and I got into a fight with a guy in a store. You know what I mean? I could see the guy being like, get the f- get out of here, you fucking white devil fuck. You know what I mean? Like, and someone calls me like white devil piece of shit. You know, it's, it's like, that's, you know, that's a lot of what it is. You know, that's a lot of what it is. I don't know. It's weird. But uh, that clip to me is hilarious. I know I don't. Well, there's a Muslim lady and another lady, but I don't know if the other lady is Hispanic or what. They're gonna somehow oh, blame this. Back. Wait a minute! Everyone sent me this like, oh, white lady. This isn't a white lady. Huh? Yeah, fuck again? You. Yeah. Fuck you, you, bitch. You. Fuck you. Get the oh. fuck back to your country, bitch. Get the fuck back to again, your country, again, bitch. Please, again, please. Get the fuck oh. ass fucking oh. in your ass. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 Fuck in your yes. ass. Fuck in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. She's definitely Quincy European. Orcha. Oh my god. Dude. That Drew Bar. Sound Hispanic to me. Oh, you're right. I don't know what Not only is she European, she's also a badass. <laughs> <laughs> Neither one of them is this in from this country. Get the fuck back to again, your again, again, please. Again, get please. The fuck oh. The Muslim girl sounds hot, though, I gotta tell you. Yeah, I mean, so it's it's just a thing, man, to pin it on, all, like, to pin it on, like, only white people do this. It's like, no, the majority of people in the country are white, so they're gonna be the ones who majoritarily look around at other foreign or minority area, like, and say, like, oh, you're not from here. You know, just like if I went to, like, Germany, you know what I mean, and I started speaking America, you know, somebody would might say eventually, like, oh, yeah, why don't you go back to America with that? It's like, I get it. That's just what happens to to that. That's a natural thing of tribal. Does it make it okay? No, but, you know, it's just something that typically seems to happen. I don't know. But, I, but like again, like I said, this book has some merit to it in a way. You know, it makes sense. This stuff does happen. But to teach it to children, it, what it's doing is it's warping them that this is all that goes on in America. And this is all that happens in the country. You know what I mean? It doesn't make sense to warp a child's brain that way. It's ju- it's just like teaching them the opposite. It's just like teaching them racism. You're actually teaching them to be this triggered little thing that's mad about everything and freaked out looking for all this stuff. And it's like it's not that's not normal. Shit for the bomb. kid. It doesn't make sense. You become a shit bomb. Cena might as well turn heel since he's a CCP shill. Cena might as well turn heel. Yeah, he might as well come out with the China flag. Why not decide? Why not turn Roman Reigns' face? Do a double turn. Turn Roman Reigns' face and then have Cena come out with the Chinese flag. And say like, listen, you guys all know what I'm about. You know, uh, it was fun playing a role for you for all those Duncan years. Chino? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> What's my name? And then Roman comes out. Oh, it'd be great. That'd be so good. Unemployment fraud is a huge problem, especially for those who need the assistance. 
James Mesner, thank you. You're a beast. I appreciate it, James Mesner. Uh, yeah, no, it's a problem. Fucking, I might be on it. Uh, no, it's a no, it's a problem. Uh, it's crazy. Uh, but you know, I think a lot of people need help right now, and I think they need to increase just the pay, though. They got to pay people more. You know, this is this may be the world. You know resetting itself but we're also missing people from you know everything stores shit bomb supply chain stuff is out f you f you detroit you piece of dick you know what detroit why don't you go f yourself go f yourself detroit goddamn asshole idiot why don't you go milk a cow detroit we're not detroit the MK ultra yeah, something fucking weird. Something is fucking... Somebody milked his cow the wrong way, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> How about this guy? I'll come in your mouth, Joe. Whoa. <laughs> I'll come in your mouth, Joe. I'll come in your mouth, Joe. Whoa. You donated Whoa. 50 bucks. I'm going to take my dick out because you donated 50 bucks. Oh, my you God. You donated 50 bucks, more. It's boy. I'm a rich motherfucker. Hey Joe, why did you delete my comment? Monetize this. 264 UFC. You addressed me being on Dr. Earl saying mm. I have been saying you can't make jokes which is not true. Making this into a donation cause you will just ignore me if I DM. Well, no, I've, I've, you know, I, any other time you've ever DM me, you, you then didn't respond and ran and just talked to people about my DM to you. So I just don't DM anybody anymore who just takes my DM and then runs and talks about it for an hour somewhere and doesn't actually respond to me like a human being. But Bullsey, thank you, Bullsey, for the $50. Much appreciated. Um, Bullsey time in the chat. I did not delete your comment either on Monetize This, so if it's not there, it's not me. Um, did not delete your comment. Potentially YouTube did or Google, but I did not delete your comment. And, yeah, you, I played the clip of you saying that joking about suicide isn't funny so you said joking something about you saying i couldn't joke about suicide or i shouldn't joke about suicide because it's not funny and um you know so i mean i don't really i don't know what to say about that you address me saying you can't make jokes which is not true well that's not what i said but it feels like i can't make any jokes because uh you know certain everybody has got a different line of what i can and can't say so I feel like I can't make jokes about anything, but you know, you tell me that you think suicide jokes aren't funny. You said that that's not funny and I'm not funny and that's not good and that's not cool. And I wish Joe would realize that. Well, you spent months making fun of Larry Funk's death, but that was supposed to be funny because you're like, I'm a heel or something. But me saying a joke about like, oh, kill me now. Like, you don't understand, like, that's a joke or so. I really don't know what to tell you, brother. It sounds like there's no right answer. But thanks for the $50. You know? What are you, you going to do? You know, like, basically what I'll do is I'll joke about whatever I want and everybody can go fuck themselves. That's really what what the truth is. I'll joke about whatever I want. I don't give a shit. You don't think it's funny. You don't have to listen. Just don't listen. It's easy. So that's it. I do appreciate the $50, but you know, when, you know, it's one of those things, man, you know, some of the people that, you know, they want to tell me what I can and can't say and what I should or shouldn't say, or say they don't watch me because of what I say, but you know, then they are watching me all the time. Very, very interesting. You know, I mean, uh, what are you going to do? You know, if people don't like jokes, because you know what, then then what happens is someone says, oh, you can't make jokes about suicide. You can't make jokes about this or that. OK, well, now you can't make jokes about cancer. That's not funny. OK, you can't make jokes about diabetes. OK, you can't make jokes about, you know, fishing or you can't make jokes about breasts. You can't make jokes about ass. You can't make jokes about dicks, you know, and then, you know, it's just like it goes into this thing of like you're screwed then, you know, it's crazy. You know, 
All right, Bolsey. Yeah, you win, brother. I mean, hey, you had you didn't make any jokes about Larry Funk, and there was no jokes ever about that. And uh, I don't know, man. I I can't keep track. I played the clip of what you said the other day, so you know, what I mean, like, I don't know what you want me to tell you. Okay, you never said you never made jokes about Larry Funk, brother. You never made jokes about Larry Funk, and um i should and i you never said anything about me suicide okay so i take it back i'm wrong bullsy you you're right i'm wrong you're right i'm wrong brother you win it's basically teaching kids to hate themselves because of something that can't control just homeschool your kids if you can or send them to private school if you can afford it yeah definitely can't say you're not even allowed to do that i think in my state you have to like you have to do something or they'll take your kids away well i can't afford to send my kids to private school no doubt about it so i i can't send my kids to private school so that's not happening And, you know, do we really want me training my kids, like teaching my kids, like uh, with my GED, James Mesner? <laughs> you know, like, I mean, I don't know. So shit bomb. I think we're going to be stuck. You become a shit bomb. Will Tony be around anymore? He was talking over. Will Tony be around anymore? He was talking, taking over, talking over. What up, NWO fan 23? How you doing, man? Thanks for the dollar ninety nine. I don't know, man. Um, for, for about eight months, people said to me that I really screwed Tony, that I didn't give him an opportunity and that I was a scumbag idiot for not allowing Tony to be on the shows. And they agreed with him that I'm a bad person for not letting Tony be on the shows. And so basically Tony was, you know, he decided to leave out of nowhere. Tony left the shows out of nowhere, then decided to shit on all of us. And then everybody said, you know, Tony, Joe screwed you. He really did terrible things. He really should have. He never gave you any. He didn't care. He just wanted your money. Joe. And that's why you got screwed over there, Tony. And then Tony decided to come back. And then everybody decided to change their minds and say, you know what? Tony's a scumbag liar. And uh, Joe still sucks. Joe manipulated Tony to get him back. <laughs> So there is no real right answer, is there? There is no right answer, right? If you bring somebody back, you must be bad somehow. If you don't have someone on, you must be bad somehow. You know? That's all there is to it. And that's what it is. That's what happens. Um, There may be a few more. There's a few more donos that didn't play yet, so I will... Uh, I'll work them in here. We've been live for quite a bit here. So, yeah, Bullsy, there really is, uh, I don't know, brother. It, I, it is whatever you say, brother. You tell me, and I'll just tell everybody what you say, and there you go. You know, you can, you, you're right. I'm sure I'm wrong somehow. So, you tell me, and I'll just, I'll reiterate it for you. Uh, let me see. Oh, man, they changed their whole thing around. I'm all screwed up now. They changed their they changed their whole friggin' thing around. Okay, so uh let's see here. Let me pull it up. I do see your donation, brother. Let me see if I can get it to play here. Um, let's see here. Okay. So basically, um, I think it's going to play if I, if I do this right. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Nine bucks for a fuck. Someone donated nine. I'm getting hard, I got nine inches inside of your wife Nine bucks, I'm shooting my semen to the ceiling I'm coming and my balls have to blue Nine bucks, suck my dick K 
Caveman Austin tipped $9, Cena returns on Friday calls out Roman wins the championship then calls out the Rock SummerSlam match confirmed with Hogan as referee. Oh. Um, Cena returns Friday, calls out Roman, wins the championship, then calls out the Rock SummerSlam match confirmed with Hogan as the referee. <laughs> Somehow I don't think that's what's happening. Somehow I don't think that's what's happening, brother. Woo! Nice shark, brother. I just don't think that's going to happen. I just somehow don't think that's going to go down. How about Hulk Hogan versus Big E Langston, and Big E just beats Hulkamania? And then uh, Hogan does his bow thing, you know? And then... I mean, I guess, right? Because they'd love to do that. You know? Probably. Uh, I think it's going to be Cena first. Cena against Cena for Reigns, then Rock for Reigns. It's, you know, it'd be nice if you could turn Roman face somehow, but, you know, it's just not going to happen, I guess. Cena comes in as the big face to face Roman, the big heel, but the big heel is going to win again, right? Uh, the Rock is then going to have to come in, and w what's going to happen there? You know, because, I mean, again, it's going to have to be Roman wins again. And while all this is going on, what do you try to do, build a face? I guess during all this, you're trying to build a face? I suppose. this. During all of that, you're trying to find the next face that can take on Roman and beat Roman, right? Because you don't want anybody to beat Roman unless it's a, f a new face, right? I can't imagine you really want one of the legends to come back and beat Roman because it's like, well, then they're not around for good, so that's not going to help things too much. You know, I, w I don't think that you really want to do that. Cena vs. Dewdrop. I could get into that. Or maybe like Ro or Roman versus Dewdrop. I think I could get into Roman versus Dewdrop. I really appreciate the 50, though, Bolzy. That is nice of you. And it's okay if you don't agree with me, man. It's all good. What are you going to do? But I definitely don't, you know, I didn't delete your comment about that. You know, I only, I only delete people's comments who are like, being bad or doing some kind of stupid sketchy thing or whatever you know that's not so bad that something like that ain't gonna get deleted <laughs> bullsy no not true joe cause i did not saying you cannot joke about suicide and yes you did say i can't joke about stuff and no, I have not been making any jokes about Larry for the past six months. I know, but you did make them about him when he died. And you made all those jokes about Larry after he died, so. You made all these jokes about Larry Funk being dead, said it would be funny. Which people agreed with, kind of. Some people didn't, some people did. Then you said... It's not funny that I joke about suicide or that I make joke or that I say, oh, my God, I'm going to kill myself. You say that's bad. So I said, oh, my God, I can't joke about anything. I guess I can't joke about anything. That's all that happened. There's nothing wrong with that. That's what happened. So I don't I don't I guess I don't know. Uh, I don't know what you're saying. You know, this just sounds like I mean, I know you're probably trolling or something or like, I don't know. But that doesn't make any sense to me. You know? I don't know. I will open up the phone lines in just a minute. 339-226-6610. The number's on the screen. I'll open up the phone lines in just a couple of minutes. And we'll see what we've got. Shit bomb! You become Asher Trasher. A shit bomb. Open up phone lines so I can call in Joe. Ooh, let's open up the phone lines. People really want the phone lines open. Phone lines open. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Oh.
Let's see if we can get the... Uh, right away, we got somebody who's driving their car off a cliff. 412, what's up? Hey, hey, Joe. Hey, uh, this is... um. This is kind of a, a weird phone call, but uh, <laughs> this this is this is Bullsy's dad. Oh, I, I'm driving my I'm driving my car off a cliff because my son is an autistic fucking loser oh. who won't stop bothering you every goddamn fucking day. This is it. This is it. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What the hell? Oh my god! I think, hold on a minute, I'm going to try to get him back on. That was crazy. I, Bolsey's dad. Wait a minute, let's get, we got him back on again. Hey, sir, can you hear me? No, oh, come on. Oh, my God. All right, let's just hang up on that. All right. Jesus. That was not... I did not expect that to be the first phone call. I got to be honest. I did not expect that to be the first phone call. That was... Who the fuck is that guy that calls? That guy always calls with some kind of... With, well... Oh. All right. There you have it. 601, hello. Let's get all jokes aside, Joe. It's me, your boy, one of your youngest yet most oldest fans. Your boy, Asher, has come back. Whoa! To the Joe show. Asher, what's up, brother? Not much, man. Turning 18 next month. So. 18 and now I'm legal. 18, it's... Oh, wait, you're not 18 yet? No, no, no. Oh, okay. No. We'll wait till, all right. I'll wait till next week to say what I was going to say or whatever. Couple <laughs> more months. Couple more months, and I've got some guys you no. want to meet. No, what's oh. going No, No, I'm just kidding. What's up, man? Happy birthday almost to you. Uh, what's been up? Uh, not much. Just been staying with my grandma for the summer. Uh, turned out my uncle died, so I have to stay in Alabama for one week longer. Well, it's no. on, on my stepmom's side of the family. It's a long story. It just means I get the. Stay at my grandma's house to watch Money in the Bank. So. Oh, no, well, that's cool. That's cool, man. Um, it's crazy how many of the years have passed. I don't even the year, wait till you're old. When you're older, it just keeps going faster and faster. But it's like, it's really it's creepy fast right now. Like some, it really I, is. I said that like you, you'll find out when you're even older though. It's even it's you won't even believe it. Like I said to Leah the other day, I was like. Oh, this thing wasn't this thing happened two years ago, and she's like, "That was seven years ago," and I'm like, "Just <laughs> fucking like, I don't even know anymore." So yeah, it's gonna get, it's just gonna get yeah, crazier when you're like 28 and on. It that's when it really goes crazy. Yeah, I was 12 when I first called in. It was Beast in the East, and of course that pay per view was a shit storm. So your Collins weren't too happy, and I was just that one little kid you know, calling in trying to get his voice heard. Then I started, you know, the three little things that I would call in, and it was you and two other people whose name I will not say. <laughs> but Debe, Deb, Deb yeah. But, yeah. It's, and, you know, you've gone through so many co-hosts. You know, I've popped in and out a lot. I haven't really called in as much as I used to and or donated, but I have a job, so it's my own money this time. Yes. You, you're the reason we had to uh, put the legal disclaimers up. <laughs> Am I the reason? Yeah, like I was like, I got to put legal disclaimers <laughs> up everywhere. Like it's crazy. That's fucking great, man. I'd say, um, <laughs> and you know, it's weird. And imagine, like, I didn't even have that big of an audience of younger people, but I think I did. A lot of people listened that were quiet, that didn't say a lot, and like, like, like Cody, like, or Co uh, Cody is like he was younger too but th because the audience said it was like 20s to 35s was my average audience age but there's a big core of people who are younger who lied about their age on the thing or whatever i guess you know which makes yeah. sense because i don't know i was listening to howard stern when i was 10 so i mean i don't know but <laughs> anyway man uh yeah dude it's we supposed to do something we gotta talk soon i've, I've talked to some other yeah, people you keep ignoring my dms joe every time i message you you keep ignoring me i'm like hey let's do something today get left on red yeah hey, i know let's do something today 
get left on red. You know what it is? Is like I get so many of those every day, and what happens is like I, I'm I'm like oh I, I don't know if I can do I don't have any time today, so I won't say anything because then if I say something then I'll I'll just be wrong. So I'll I'll like wait. Yeah. It's crazy, dude. There's so much going on now. It's it's almost impossible to get a hold of me now. It's it's a mess. Uh, Jake DeMarco can't even get a hold of me. You know he's on a he's on a breathalyzer unit right now. So damn. No, I'm just kidding. No, he's fine. No, oh, but he's going to get his he's going to get his blood work done and stuff and all this. Bre- oh, okay. They are doing breathing tests on him and scans on him. So that's a big thing. But um, yeah, we will. But we will figure something out. Oh yeah, he did. He lost a lot of weight. He got that stomach that surgery thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm proud of him. You got to be 18 to, to, to do a podcast with Joe. That's the rule. Ah, damn. Unless you're... Wait one more month, then. That's right. That's what it is. You got to wait legally to do a podcast with me. So then I'm not liable. Um, But no, I, it's, <laughs> it's like, yeah, dude, I, I know I said... I probably DM'd you back, but I didn't ever say, like... Right? We never set a date for anything, right? Yeah. I, we've been setting this up since, like, what, February? Probably even before... Because we were supposed to do it the uh, the Sunday for WrestleMania Day Two, and my fat ass slept in, so I didn't get to, you know, shoot you a message about it. Yeah, yeah, hit me up. I do see your DMs, so hit me up. Um, you know what I mean? I'm reading them, no doubt. So I'm getting them. I'm not that busy anymore. I used to be more busy, like with like people emailing me and stuff. That happens less now, but it's just in real life. I'm super busy now. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, message me up and, uh, figure something out and, uh, we'll get going for your birthday or something. It'll be fun. All right. Sounds All right. Good, man. Later, brother. Good shit. Bo- uh, Bolsey called, uh, try to call back Bolsey. Asher, thank you. I'm sure Bolsey wants to yeah, fuck with my head or something. Um, his dad called. That was crazy. It's Bolsey's. That's so weird. It's like my father calling. Remember my dad called the other day from beyond the grave. My father called. With his broken uh, bones. My father's broken bones called the show the other day. Thank you to Asher. I love that kid. Uh, that kid went through some tragedy uh, with his family and a long time back. And um, I'm happy to be the outlet for somebody, you know. Well, me and Wolf and Gavin played uh, Halo the other day. It was a lot of fun. 860, what's up? What's going on, Joe? What's up? Uh, what's up with this fucking job right now? Well, just fucking yell, just t- just yell at them. Just say, you know what? Fuck everybody. Well, I mean, it's 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 all right. It's all right today. Just doing uh, truck delivery right now. I'm the way all these different parts, and I'm still like new to the store and shit. So. Yeah, yeah. No, I I remember uh, doing. Wait a minute. So you're doing like uh, like sort of like vending machine stocking or stocking store or something like that. So. Spoiler for you, I'm actually the one called Furry Balls Plot Menacingly on the Table. Oh, nice. Holy shit. Yeah, that's a great name. So, so I've <laughs> thank you. I've actually been uh, working at the uh, advanced auto parts that I was saying. Ready in advance. Yeah, I used to work Man, at Man, I'm uh, fucking. I'm, it's, it's a good job. It's just it's kind of tedious. Well, it's how old are you? So I'm turning 23 in August. Yeah, so like when um you know that me and my wife delivered auto parts both of us for like 3 years. Oh, really? Yeah, I worked at a local auto parts store company, uh family owned six shops, and I started as a driver, then I became an assistant manager and a sales rep and a driver. I did it. I did everything at some oh, point. Man. Yeah, it got it See, was Right now they're trying to push me up to like be like a key holder because we have like Oh no. We have one manager right now that's not really a manager, but yeah. you know He's just he, he closes when he can, but it's like he's just not doing his job right, you know. And I can't well, really say too much because I'm still at work right now. <laughs> well, well, what will happen is potentially if he ain't doing a lot right, he'll eventually be gone, and you can take over. That's what will happen. That's what I'm actually hoping for, to be honest with you. Because what's up, man? Yeah, I'm all good. Tell him you're Sorry on the phone that. with the police. No, um, no. So <laughs> it's like when I worked, uh, I worked at the mall, and I was a piece of shit. My girlfriend left me at the time and I just drank and I started actually leaving my shift in the middle of the day to drink at the bar and come back as the manager. Joe, and, I am so sorry. Can you give me just one minute? No, man. Just go back. You should go back to work and beats. Just tell them, like, listen, I'm on the phone. My family got in a car accident. That's what I feel like saying. <laughs> yeah. Tell so them my family. Yeah. Right. My sister's in an accident. 
<laughs> man. And then the thing is, like, again, like I'm saying, it's a, it's a good job. It's just this one manager just has to go. He well, just has to. Like, you know it's, what? Just, it's just getting to a point where it's like a lot of stuff I feel he's just putting, like, put, I think he's putting, like, personal issues in front of everything because it's like I haven't even been here for three months and I feel like he's just trying to target me and somebody else that's working with us. Whoa. Well, yeah. did you ever consider you could well, be a... You can put your card in. Sorry about that. Well, you could be a pussy. Did you ever consider that? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, but I mean, you've only been there three months and you're already talking about mutiny. I mean, that's like so... How? I mean, how millennial of you? <laughs> you know, you think the boss is a dickhead who's bringing his personal shit. Meanwhile, you're on the phone hey, giving customers cards. <laughs> Yeah, it's just crazy, man. Oh, you'll be all right. You're just so younger. Like I was the same way, man. I worked all the I worked a million shit jobs. Six months, two years, one year, whatever. And right. I don't know, dude. I've I've seen a lot of different shit. And And the thing is, like, um as far as as far as this job goes, I really don't have any like knowledge about cars. But I, I didn't either when I started really, you know. But it's like it's interesting. It's way more interesting, especially for me because I like to like you know I like to keep myself busy with shit. You know. Yeah, it's it's just it's good for me to like run around, keep myself active because uh, I'm just I got like ADHD and shit. So oh I yeah, fucking Dr- you know. Driving helps you because like you can well it works both ways. You get impatient on the road now is what happens, but then at the same time. Oh, yeah. And then you, right, the one yeah. thing that annoys you too is when you yeah, have man. to go out and come back and go out and come back. Yeah, that's what I've, like, one of my other uh, drivers here, he's actually been dealing with that, like, one of my other co-workers. Now, are you at work right now? Are you ringing people out? Uh, yes, and I'm also doing a whole bunch of other things, like, really getting one thing, like, dealing with truck delivery. Damn, helping man. Out, uh, helping out with, like, testing batteries, alternators, checking mm-hmm. the starters. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wipers. Dude, I, oh, I, I loved nice. I love helping people. So like I, I enjoyed that I did enjoy that job because I, I like I liked helping people. Like I really did. I like when people come in. Uh, let me help you fix the show you why the battery doesn't work. Let me show you the wipers. Let me I'll put the wipers on for you if you like. You know right. I don't know. I, I liked helping people. And uh if you like that then you'll be fine. I, I lasted about three three years doing that. You know, before See, like, I got bored. Uh, like how I was saying, like this isn't like I wouldn't say it's a really like a preferred career for me because I, this isn't something that like, it's good for like a resume, I believe, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Because honestly, because like I've been like, all right. So before I started this, I was uh, going for my GED. And then at the same time, while I was doing that, I was doing carpentry. I was trying to get into uh, steel iron work in New York, trying to go for like different things. That'd be good. Yeah, but it's just the thing is, it's just I have my kid, and then I'm also trying to get married and all this shit. So honestly, this is so far comfortable for me, but we'll see how it goes. You know? Yeah, I mean, I would just say stick with it, and then if you ever get sick of it completely, just have something lined up before you leave. That's all. Just li- exactly. Yeah, exactly. line it up and try it out. Like when I got into sales, I didn't know I was going to be good at sales, but I all of a sudden, like I loved it for a while. And I got over yeah. it. And when I got my customer service job and I made like the most money I ever made before at a job, which was like only 45 K. But, uh, for hey. me, I, I, th- I thought that was rich at the time. I, I mean, I still, that's a lot of, it was a lot of that's money still to me. a lot for anyone else, especially like if they're really struggling right now. Yeah. And I did right now you got to remember I'm in Connecticut too. So yeah. the, um, the minimum wage out here is still, uh, 12, 13, mm-hmm. but eventually it's going to get up to 15 for some people. Yeah, and if you but can put the, that... That's the other reason why, like, we're trying to work our way up to, like, get me to a key holder, because I could get a salary, and it would be a little bit better pay. You you can do more, trust me. Like, with your if you get communication skills and you can do some of the stuff there, you'll be able to do other jobs that you didn't even realize. It's just the problem is you need someone to work on a resume with you and to apply to the right jobs on, like, Indeed and stuff yeah. like that. And and don't think small. Don't think, oh, like, oh, I'm just going to work retail. Don't even do that. Like, think, look at all these other jobs that you could work that make more money. Like, right now, you could work for a health insurance company or a customer service company or multiple other things that all pay from $17 to $25 an hour. 
Like, there's no reason you can't get into one of those things. Yeah. Um, Joe, I'm going to actually have to let you go. Yeah, get out of here, man. But, Sound but busy. Listen, man, thank you for taking my call. Um, peace out, man. You got, I got it. You. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you through probably, like, the chat. Okay. You got it, furry balls. Right, man. Go back to work. Jesus Christ. He's at work. People are coming up like, hey, what's uh, let me get this, that, and the other thing. And he's like, oh, uh, yeah, I'm talking to some YouTuber right now. Uh, whatever. What's your credit? Okay. <laughs> You can do it, brother. Trust me. If I can do it, anybody can do it. If Joe Cronin can earn, you know, can make forty thousand dollars at a couple of different jobs over the years, and fifty thousand on on a sales position, and recently, I was on pace to make seventy k at a place until they went to hell. You can do it. I, you know, what I mean, I got a GED. You can do it. Seven seven three. Hello. Hey, Joe, first things first, that a fat girl who was reading that book, she was actually pretty cute if you look at her face. She actually did uh, look she, pretty good. Like, she was all right. Yeah, I go bomb deep, for sure. I mean, any day. Yeah. Uh, but, but I want to get an opinion that tonight about uh, the coffee match between uh, Ethan and uh, Ethan and Darby. I mean, what do you think? I'm, I'm hyped for it. Uh, but, you know, I'm trying to set my expectations low because, you know, how uh, AEW lets us down, especially with Revolution. Uh, but want to get your opinion tonight. Are you hyped or are you excited for it? Or are you kind of your expectations low? A little bit. And here's the other thing. These guys have a history, right? Are you, you're familiar with that, I'm guessing? Yeah, with the independent scene. Right. So in the independence, these guys have such a history. For the other people that don't know, it's almost like a mini, mini Owens, Sammy thing. Like in a small way or in a different way. So... Tonight, Ethan Page versus Darby Allen. I am excited because it's the got it's got the gimmick. I like it. I know that Jake wasn't fond of it. I actually am hyped about it. Um, the idea that we're gonna get a fucking casket and all this other shit, like yeah. I I am I am kind of excited about it. I gotta be honest. Do you think it's gonna oh. be the main event? Is it the main event? I don't know. I bet yeah. it, it probably is. Think? I think it should be. I mean, we'll see. It should be, um, I'm looking at it now, actually. Hey, thanks for the call, man. I didn't mean to hang up on you. I'm looking at it now to see if it's the main event. I think it is the main event. Um, I don't know. Let me see. I don't know. The, let me. I'm sorry. I hung up on you. Six, six, seven. My bad. Call back again. I hung up on a couple of people. My bad. Call back. I'll put you on. Um, trying to get through all the calls. There's so many calls coming in. Um, Skype. Call back again. I'll get you on there. Uh, seven, seven, three. I lost you. Four, two, four. Call back. If you want four, two, four, I'll put you on there. Let me see here. Let me try to see if it's the main event. Does anybody know if it's the if it's the main event? My bad. Call back, brother. Let me see. Oh, here we go. It's ringing. It's ringing. Sorry, man. When like seven people are calling at once, it's hard to get anybody in. Four one two. Hello. Hey, Joe. Hey, um, this is actually Russell Fenton calling in from hell. Oh, you're a piece of shit. Oh, you're a piece of shit. You're a piece of garbage caller. That's not funny. Jesus Christ, bro. What the fuck's wrong with people? Oh, my God. That's not funny. Why do people do that? man? <laughs> that is not fucking funny, bro. Come on, man. And you know it, too, because I know I think I know who that is. I'm not sure 100 percent, but uh, that guy's fucked up, bro. Oh, my God, dude. That's fucked up. That is so fucked up. Ugh. God damn it. I hope your family gets in a fucking SUV accident, you piece of shit. How much further do you want me to dox you? Ugh. That's just disgusting. Fucking dickhead. God damn son of a bitch psycho. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, but yeah, the um this lady, I mean, I don't know. I mean, what do you I don't know what I'd give her, like a I don't know, man. 
you know, I, I started going there with the caller, like, okay, maybe you're right, but no, I'm, I don't think so. She's even wearing a, she's even wearing a shirt with some kind of a message, something, something women you want for something. Ugh. Ugh. It's like, do you ever take a day off? Do you ever t do you ever take a day off? Asher, did you make a new Twitter name and just send me a new tweet on a new Twitter name? God damn. <laughs> Cody, get you on a minute. Let's take a quick commercial break real quick because I got a pee pee in my pants. And there's a lot of calls coming through and I will get you guys back on the call. Uh, we got some donos to play still. Um, but I will be right back after this. With more you phone guys are calls. Listening to the Joe Cronin Show live right now. Uh, if you guys want to be part of the other shows, you got to know the lineup. Monday nights after Monday Night Raw, Wednesday nights after AEW, and Thursday nights out of nowhere. The wrestling podcast with Jake DeMarco and myself uh, taking place on Patreon. And of course, Friday night is now Friday Night Throwdown. Formerly Friday night was Monetize This. Now it is Friday Night Throwdown. And Saturday night is Monetize This. For the time being, things could change at some point. I want to shout out Spaz Phoenix and Spaz Phoenix Podcast for supporting. Um, but especially shout out to the Nikki J, the Weed God. You can find him trucking around on his channel every once in a while, driving trucks into trees and being a maniac. Uh, when he, usually when he smokes some kind of horrific strand. You know, that happens with him. He's a big smoker, and he's psychotic. So, I mean, what are you going to you know, expect from him? Uh, it happens. But also, our friend Cody Mastro. You guys have seen him around. Cody has a hell of a ghost stories, paranormal type of talk, podcast, channel that will make your genitals quiver. It's called, of course, Real Spine Chilling Stories Online. I've got some spine chilling stories myself. They're about Drew's mother. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but no, seriously, check it out. Really appreciate it. And guys, of course, if you want to back what I do, you want to hear more podcasts from me, but you want to support the show a lot, you want to get perks, you want to get VIP, you want to get producer level stuff. Um, and everything else under the sun, then you want to go to patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. Patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show, baby. Remember Beefmaster? They put metal into people's hot dogs. God damn it, it's a nice day out. I think I'll fire up the old grill today. Ooh, that sounds good, sweetums. <laughs> Shut up! Now go in the fridge, get me a beer, and some Beef Masters. Beef Master, the tastiest wiener you'll ever have in your mouth. Oh, God, you look good. <laughs> oh, you look good, too. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, oh God, fuck yeah. Later that evening... Oh, God! You fucking stink! What did you eat, you fuck? Oh, God damn it! Don't fucking touch me! Oh, dear God! Ah, get it out! Get it out! Oh, it burns! Kill me now! The next morning. Shut up, you fuck! Yeah. Hey, it's Boomer. Hey, Boomer. Hey, we're having a little shindig today. A little beer and some butt sex, and I'm gonna grill some beef masters. You coming? 
I'm on my way. <laughs> Who was that, baby? Fuck you. Beef Master! This product is known to contain metal. Seriously. Show. We'll be right back after this. Joe Cronin Show is also brought to you by Title Match Wrestling, Title Match Network. Go to Title Match Network and use coupon code Cronin. And you'll get half off and you'll get blown away by the gods of wrestling. The Joe Cronin Show will be right back after this. Do you want me to dox you? Lick my asshole! What's going on? All right, we're back live. We're back live. It's 4.13 p.m. now. Here on the East Coast, of course, tonight is the AEW review. I am pumped, absolutely pumped for Darby Allen uh, versus uh, Mr. Page there. Because I really want this... Uh, I, listen, I like the gimmick. I'm excited for it. I really do. I hope it's good. I hope it's really good. Darby's had some really good matches. He's had some, you know, just blah matches. That was good, whatever. But he's had some really good ones too. And so I'm hoping that this follows along the lines of, you know, something really good. Um, three three nine two two six sixty six ten. The phone lines. Shit bomb. A lot of phones ringing. You become a shit bomb. Ring it up. Joe, I gave nine bucks on Streamlabs. It did not play. Oh man, it did play. Damn it, now you gave more money for no reason. Oh. Phone lines are ringing off the hook. Caveman Austin. Thank you so much, Caveman, for the $2. And thanks, man, we did play it. In fact, the shark did the Mardi Gras for you. Phone lines are, are ringing, baby. Skype is open, 339-226. Shit bomb! 6610. You become... Mm. A shit bomb. Oh, yeah. Respect to you, Joe. You don't make fun of Tony, Dad. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you to Caveman Austin. And thank you to I Love Toes the other day. Dropped a dollar. We haven't seen I Love Toes in a long time. Good to hear from NWO Fan uh, 23. What's going on? Oh, we've already we've talked about Stone Cold ET for years, Dom LFC. Yeah, we used to. We had us. Uh, we had uh, Stone Cold ET on the show. <laughs> Four years ago, five years ago. And not to mention you said I ran every time you gone to me a DM. And I shared it. Mm. However, the DM. After you deleted my comment addressing you about you doing A with Scott McKinnon. Mm, doing A with Scott? I haven't talked to Scott in a long time, brother. And... Uh, the only time I ever talked to Scott was six months ago or seven months ago or six months ago. I don't even know. That was only to call him to literally defend something that he was saying about me that was wrong. He was saying something way wrong about me. So I called in, you know, kind of like how you tell me to call or to, to answer your questions. I called to answer his questions. So when I when I answer your questions and when I call to answer your questions or other people's questions, I call in to set the record straight on something that's clearly wrong. But when I call to set Scott straight, you say doing a show. 
I mean, it's a clever way to to pretend, but unfortunately, calling in someone to set them straight and then try to, you know, be like, yeah, you're not right about this. This is what's going on. You're wrong. And then, you know, fuck around for a few minutes doesn't mean doing a show it means I called a show. You know, when I call someone with 18 viewers for an hour to set the record straight on something not long ago, it's not doing a show. It's like I called in and was available for questions. You know what I mean? It's not doing a show. You know, doing a show would be like, oh, hey, me and you want to go live and do a show? Like, that's doing a show or coming up with a name or doing, you know? It's like, and you're talking about something from six months ago. I haven't talked to that guy in forever. I don't care about him. I know people think about him every day, all day long of their lives or whatever. I just don't do that. I have three kids and a job and all this other stuff, and I don't give a shit. You know, who cares? People threaten me, my kids, my family, my house, my life, my whatever, uh, whatever. I don't care. I see stuff about me everywhere. What are you going to do? I don't care. Show uh, sh fucking I hope someone comes at this point. I'll fucking kill you on my lawn. You know, who gives a shit? You know, it's like, dude, who gives a fuck at this point? People are obsessed with everybody. Who gives a fuck? Man, nobody's a uh, nobody knows how to just move on from anything ever. Like, I mean, Jesus, just move on. It's going to be OK. You know, I get the game, though. It's all just a joke. Nobody really believes anything they're saying. It's a big fucking game. I get it. Have fun with it. But I, I'm all good. I left that game a long time ago. I'd find a dead fetus and bathe in its amniotic fluid. I'm good with you. If you're good with me, man. Sounds good to me. Hey, listen. You go with me. I'm good with you. It's not, I'm coming for it's you. No. Oh. I ate your cum, and it threw me over the border. 339-226-6610. We'll get you back on the air if you missed the call earlier. Shit bomb! Bullsy. You become a shit bomb. Cena should just break the record and take it with him to Hollywood, have him hold it for a year. It's his only logical storyline left. Hmm. Break the record, then take it with him to Hollywood. Hold it for a year. Wow. Hold it for a year? What the hell? If he holds it for a year, then what the hell does Roman do after that? Uh, what's up? This is uh, Paul Three calling it. What's going on, man? Paul, what's up, ma'am? Hey, I was just calling in to actually talk about something of uh, substance here. So um, with Cena, the whole Cena situation, has it been, well, I mean, I don't know how you can confirm it, but do you think he's coming back heel? Is he going to turn heel finally? I don't, no, be, I, the reason why I don't think so is because Roman is their heel, and uh, they, the problem is that they don't have any faces, right? They don't have any faces that are big. Like, nobody's big enough or over that's a face. So the only people they can bring in that can get to the level of Roman's heel right now are Cena, Rock, or Brock. Maybe and maybe Goldberg, but not really Goldberg, but, you know, a little bit. So yeah, that, yeah. That, that's why I don't... I mean, I guess you're right. That, yeah, that, that's why I don't think they could do it. But I think it'd be, it could work in a way if, like, if you flipped Roman... Maybe the fan, like, say the fans booed Cena. Say the fans started suddenly booing Cena because they're, they're they've been happy with Roman Reigns' portrayal of this character for the last six months or whatever, and the, and then Cena comes back and they're like, you know what, dude, go back to Hollywood. You know, if they if the fans did that, I could see them then turning he Cena heel and everything. But I I just think they're gonna cheer Cena like crazy and be so happy. So even more reason they can't do that. You think they're going to cheer him even after the whole China debacle and him apologizing for all that bullshit? Do you think he's really going to? Because they're going back to live fans. I mean, like you said, maybe they'll boo Cena and then cheer Roman and then they'll have to flip him like that. But I don't know, man. I can't really see Cena getting like a prolonged, like, 
people cheering him in every city, every town. I think John Cena sucks chant is going to come back and people are going to turn on him again, especially with all the China shit. I think, I think I if know. he, I think if he's boring and he, and he's kind of like weird, like he is in these interviews about movies and the China stuff, then yeah, maybe, maybe, oh, but, oh, but not at first, you know, at first he's going to be accepted and then we'll have to see what they do with him. But yeah, I mean, you could flip him, but they, they don't want to go anywhere near all that China stuff and all these other things. So yeah, you or me, you could, Dude, I, don't, oh my God. I would love if they did that. It'd be great if he carried a China flag. That'd be funny as hell. Yeah. I want to see some signs in the crowd, like John Xena or whatever, like the president, of <laughs> like spelled John. That would be so good. Like signs in the crowd. Tina sold out. Like, oh, shit. Yeah. It's going to happen. That's, a, a that's picture, one thing I really can't wait a for. A picture of Tiananmen Square, but it's John Cena getting caned. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what we need. It's, it's, it's going to happen. I mean, get ready for all the fucking JCS signs and everything else. Anybody going to these live events needs to be taking a fucking Joe Cronin sign. If you're not, then go fuck your mother and your father. Right. I, I get it. And you know what? Now you can get it taken from you since now that they might take them from you now, but uh, back in the day they wouldn't. So go, now you're really ballsy if you go there with a sign. Paul, thanks, man. I love you, brother. You're funny, dude. Love you, man. See you Friday. Peace. See you Friday, man. I'm a little... You know what? He, uh, I just think I just figured something out. Oh, boy. Wow. That hits hard. I think I just figured something out. Wow. Huh. The phone lines are opening up. There's so many calls. They're coming in. They're coming in. They're coming in. The phone lines are coming in. Oh, shit. Ryan, what's up, man? What's going on, brother? What's going on? I'm just sitting here being a loser, thinking about with John Cena in his green highlighted shirt, looking like a kid dressed in... An adult dressed in kids' clothes. <laughs> nice. Did you see uh, NXT last night? What are your thoughts on uh, Joe and Cross? Okay, so I didn't see it, but I did see the little clips, and I, I'm first of all, I'm surprised that Cross didn't lose the belt, right? And then mm -hmm. now he's choking out Samoa Joe, which I don't think, I don't think is going to lead to a match. I think it's going to lead to like something else from Joe as far as the commissioner role goes, right? I don't think they're actually going to have a match. Um, right. But, I mean, yeah. unless I'm wrong about that, but I don't think so. But I am I am shocked. You think, like, I, I really thought he was coming up to the main roster. That's all everybody said, that he was coming up. So, you know, Owens held on to the belt, though, for a while while he was on the roster. So any, they can do anything they want. So it doesn't, you know. Yeah, because I, I really thought last night that Gargano was going to take the title. He's going to go to the main roster. I was just like, I'm really not for that right now. So I'm I'm really glad he kept the title. So I, I want to know who's going to be his next opponent. Uh, Cross? Yeah, Cross. I, you know, I don't know. I almost wonder if Adam Cole isn't going to jump back into the mix. If it's not Finn Balor or, J or Adam Cole or Finn Balor, probably. I, I think... You know, and you may get could be Balor, but I mean Balor was there to help everybody else out without needing things. But you know, exactly. I, I think it could be Balor, and I know that Adam Cole has already been there, done that. I don't think that they need to do that with him again. But I don't know. What is there? Someone else that you think it might be besides uh, Finn Balor or, or Cole? Uh, honestly, at this point, it could be anybody for real. Like I don't know who could really challenge and, and take the title off of him. Like I, honestly, I don't know. Unless they, do you like Cross though? I, do you like do you, do you actually like Cross or no? Uh, I like his. I like his indie. I like Killer Cross. Carrying Cross is eh. I like Killer Cross. I just don't see anything from him that I like love, and I feel like the belt is just not. I don't know why it's wearing off on me. I don't. I yeah, don't know. It really is though. Like he won it twice, and it doesn't feel like you know. It doesn't really feel meaningful. Who who is he really faced like, besides those four people in that match on Takeover? They well, beat that, them all. I think that's what they try to do is say like, look, he beat everybody in this match. Like he's awesome. But I think unless he has, I think how you perform in the matches means something in NXT. And because mm -hmm. he's just sort of getting that, he's just kind of winning like almost like how Roman would win in a way, and. It, 
it doesn't feel as earned for some reason. And it, and it really, that's why you hear people say, oh, he's just an entrance and he's whatever else. That's not, like, I don't remember anybody that being said about any of the former NXT champions. And my point is, I think he might be the weakest NXT champion we've ever had. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Which I can definitely see that. I don't know why, but it's like, I almost, not Lance Archer, because he's, he's really bad, but... I get these like kind of like Lance Archer vibes now, which is funny because like five weeks ago I said, see Karrion Cross or whatever, he like that guy seems like he really could hurt somebody. Whereas Lance Archer's a goof. But Cross is starting to feel like a goof to me. I don't even though he's the champion, I, I don't know why. And I guess that's I think that's how they're booking him, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. 50 50 booking all the way. I don't know, I just don't like it, but um that's really about it, man, as far as that goes. Uh, but, yeah, man, good to hear from you, dude. I know you've been around a lot recently. When did you start, yeah, yeah. When did you start watching this show, like, like recently, not that long ago? Uh, Yeah, I, re yeah, it's been – I started watching the show maybe, like, four months ago. Okay. Yeah, because I've been hooked up since. Yeah, I remember when you dropped in and, like, uh, I noticed, started noticing your name a lot more and stuff. And Yeah, yeah. That's, that's cool, man. How would you find it? Was it a review or something? Uh, you know how YouTube always has those suggestions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I just clicked on suggestions. Uh, saw one of your old monetized this ones, and from there I was just like, "This guy's pretty cool. I'm gonna keep watching the shit." <laughs> That's crazy that you found the show from a monetized this. Yeah, like it was just random. Yeah, that is really <laughs> random. Like, Be well, because normally yeah. people would find the show from a wrestling video, so it's crazy that you found it from monetized this. Right. Well, it was it was referred to wrestling, but then oh, it was okay. No, that's what I'm. That's what I was wondering about. What was the first thing you saw? Do you remember? Uh, I don't remember. Actually, no. It was uh, <laughs> it was WrestleMania 31 that you did a review of that one. I don't think it was monetized. This. Ah, okay, that makes sense. 31. Yeah. Awesome. So I saw that, watched that, and then it just had me geeking for hours, and I just started watching more of your shows. That's crazy. It's weird how YouTube works. That's why I'm always curious is when people find it, like, how did you like, how did the algorithm find you here? You know, whatever. Um, but yeah, that's a popular video because that's that, that video did well back in the day. No, the videos don't do anything like that now because back then there weren't a lot of people doing the wrestling live videos. So I would get lots of new viewers every day and stuff. And now it's like, you know, there's like, 50 to 150 subs a month so those are really important people that i'm like how'd you find the show you know <laughs> yeah yeah I, I like your uh i like your older don't know like the young bucks one mm -hmm. yeah. yeah i like that one yeah i gotta pull bring that i gotta uh i gotta upload them all there's still a bunch i gotta fix the, the whole thing got reset and i have them all i just have to re-upload them it's all about just getting them back in the system so yeah i gotta oh, get them i'll get some back in there and we'll I'll let you know when they're back in, man. But, uh, yeah, I'll let you go, man. Ryan, thanks for uh, calling, man. All right, bro. No problem. I'll see you later. Sweet. Later, man. That guy's awesome. New listener, but, like, a big supporter is in the chat. Ryan is. He's fucking cool. Uh, yeah, it's always weird to hear how people find the show. It's so interesting to me. The whole algorithm thing, everything. It's all interesting. Uh, they took away Shotzi Blackheart's name. So Shotzi is now Shotzi. Shotzi Blackheart is now Shotzi. Talked about this on Twitter. <laughs> Welcome to SmackDown, ladies and gentlemen. Shotzi. Shotzi. Shot Shotzi looking different in this photo. I don't know why. She looks different. She looks like Mia Yim or something. Maybe she got bigger or something. Her face looks different. She got that Leah collar from back when uh, my wife was like 19, though. So I like that. I like that choke collar she's got there. Reminds me of my wife back when I first met her. Put, the, put a leash on that thing. So Shotzi Blackheart is now Shotzi. <laughs> why? Shotzi Blackheart. Shotzi. But yet we have to have Nikki Ash. 
Why does Nikki need a second name then? Why why isn't Nikki just Nikki? Nikki. Nikki Ash. Why does she have to be Nikki Ash? If you're changing your name because you want to get rid of Cross. Because Carrying Cross is coming up, maybe. Why is she Nikki Ash? Why wouldn't she just be Nikki? Shotzi. <laughs> it's it's like it's like they want to just mess with everybody. Like, okay, we know that 40% of you know who Shotzi Blackheart is, and we know that 40% of you watching know who she is, and you're going to be excited she's coming up. Well, let's just change your name for no apparent reason. I mean... Ugh. Just more, I mean, just bullshit from... Vince or whatever, you know, how stupid is that? It's really annoying. It's confusing. It just bothers people. For, it's something you, it's just, that just irritates people for no reason. By the way, Kat Sadler is sick with COVID after getting fully vaccinated. She gets fully vaccinated and she has the COVID stuff and she says it's relentless. Well, why did you... I don't understand. So I don't know why they're pushing that story. But so she got the vaccine, complained about how the side effects. And now she has COVID like, two months later. So the vaccine didn't help her at all. Or maybe it did. Maybe it saved her life. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows what? Who knows anything is real anymore? Yes. Okay. I'll be off in a few. Um. I don't know. I got to figure that out. We're using the one. Did you have the one I gave you the other day? It was my wallet. Um. Oh, yeah. Use that. The per uh. Oh boy. You gotta have EpiPens for the kid at the beginning of the of the year, and the EpiPens are one hundred and twenty bucks. Okay. Um, well, I'll have to talk to you when I get off the. Uh, yeah, I'll, to, uh, I'll talk to you when I get off the show. Let me get off the show. Um, lonely officers. I got the first dose, Joe. I think I have AIDS now. Okay. <laughs> I'm probably going to have, um, I, you know, I was going to go to CVS potentially to get mine. I still haven't gotten it yet. And, but CVS, I think only has the Pfizer and I really want the, I wanted the Moderna, you know, because the Moderna probably doesn't need the booster or whatever. And, and Pfizer is the evil American company. So kind of don't know if I trust that or not. I don't know. I don't know, Billy. What's going on with you, Bren? I'm bored. And Mommy, and I want to go to the store. Uh, you want to go to the store? I mean, you want to buy something? Yeah. I have no money, just so you know. I want I want to take skin and go to the store. That's cool. Uh, I hope, do you have money for that? I have $4. Well, okay. I don't, um, is that enough to buy something? I used to have a thousand dollars, a thousand, a hundred dollars. You used to have a hundred dollars? Yeah. Where did that go? I don't know. Mom won't tell me. You won't tell, mom won't tell you. I don't think she knows where it is. I don't think she knows where it is. That's what I'm. Well, I want to. I would like it too. I would like some money, right now. If you find it, if I if I find you a hundred dollars, yeah. How did you lose a hundred dollars? Um, because I just don't believe this. I guess is what I'm saying. <laughs> I 
I think only the non super chat ten dollars works. If you have my number saved, but him calling in from a four hundred and eighty number wanted to bring up a story you might have forgotten. We could do a whole podcast on it. Oh, what up, James? Yeah, we probably could do that. That's a good idea. What up, James Mesner? Thank you for the ten dollars. Um, I don't. I haven't seen you call yet, or maybe I didn't, or maybe you called earlier and I missed it. There was a lot of calls that came in, you know. I think that's what happened. A lot of phone calls coming in on Skype. A lot of different ringtones. A lot of different calls. Coming in on Skype. The big calls. Do I want to hear popping noises? Um, I don't think they do. I gotta Ask be honest. Them. Ask them. What? Ask them. They heard you. Okay, let me ask. Okay, do you? Do you guys want to hear popping sounds? Because my pop it. Do you want to hear popping sound? Yeah, when I get to 70,000, it's going to be a sad day, Paul. No doubt about it. How's it going to be a, a, a sad day when you get to 70,000? It's going to be a happy day as heck. Yeah, it's going to be a happy day. Happy day. Happy day. Every day, Daddy, it's a happy day. If, when you get to like one thousand, like 10,000 subs, subs. Uh-huh. Um, you're probably going to make a video about it. When I get to 70,000, I'll make a video about it. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I should have made a video about 69,000, to be honest. But uh, maybe I will about 70,000. <sighs> 70,000, you think so? Yeah. Um, oh, and why did, why did someone just have Brenna? And then... Jesus Christ, Ronnie, but rent rent isn't a, is important. Wait, I don't I don't get that. What did that says? Don't worry um, about it. Brenna Cronin ASMR. Okay, I don't like chewing ASMR. Just so you know, gross. You stop. That's so annoying. No, that's no stop. Stop it, please. I want to tell you something about stop. Barney and the Dinosaur. I'm going to tell you about something. Stop. Okay, I'll stop it. I don't know. Stop it. I think it's annoying. I don't hate those videos. I don't hate them either, but, like, I feel like they're kind of annoying. I don't like when they're doing... (laughs) (laughs) What? What? Do that again? (laughs) I don't like when they're doing that. When they're, like, eating... Like eating something? Yeah. Keep your eating to yourself. Yeah, keep your eating to yourself. <laughs> oh my god. Wait till you see what this big girl read a storybook to the kids in school about. Oh, it's on Twitter. It's weird. It's about privilege. <laughs> I have a book about unicorns. I have a VHS about unicorns. How about hey that? Guys, it's better than your book. Us? Do you want to see Among Us guys? Humongous. Among Us Pop-It. Maybe I don't like the popping stuff that you're doing right now. Like, that's kind of like an ASMR there. I don't like, maybe I don't like that. How do you not like this? This is basically, um, you know that when you said that, um, that. Let me pop it. Let me pop. You, remember when you said that, um. These are the best. That, you know when you said that pop it like made you better when you were like so stressed Mm mhm yeah the other day when I had like anxiety attack and I used the pop it and it helped me yeah where is my simple dimple you know what I wonder if it's wherever I was because I was walking around with it so you you can't find that one no bitch it's my fault I left I probably left it somewhere do 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 hey you know what brenna i can do story time with you right now give me a hug 
What do you think if somebody is mean to somebody who wants to get married because there's there are two men that want to get married? Um, I'll be fine with that. That just means they're gay. See? Give me five. They're, they're no gay. schooling needed. They're no indoctrination gay. needed. They're just... They're, ju- they're normal people like us just getting married with a boy. What's what's the difference? Oh, what's that public school system? Kiss me. And um, Brenna. Yeah. Everybody's different, right? And that's yeah. okay. But. Everybody's different and that's okay. Some people get married with a girl and that there is no difference with someone getting married with a boy. I know. And what about people that are different color than you? They're the same, right? Yeah, they're the same. There's nothing mm-hmm. different. Mm, they're just we just look different and stuff. But on the inside, what? We're the same. Hmm. And on the outside, sometimes you look. On the outside, sometimes. It doesn't matter you do how this? you look on the outside. It matters how you look on the inside. Well, wait a minute. What if uh, what if on the inside I have like I have like cancerous tumors? Like, does that mean I'm bad? No. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Um, no, but I like this thing. I'm. You know what I don't like about it though is that it's so flimsy. I I want these to be like hard, like really like like I want them to go. You know. Well, you know, because you see how flimsy it is? Like how light, like flimsy? Yeah. Mm. Mm. It must have been love. You're supposed to put it on a table and then do. Oh, really? Wait a minute. What the? Oh, yeah, it is kind of better on the table. That's what you're supposed to do. Supposed to. Supposed. Remember that? Yeah. Ready? Supposed. Where's the baby? Give me the baby. What? What does that mean? The baby. Everybody knows the baby is. It's a meme, and it's called the baby. Hey guys, hey guys, you know what the baby? I don't know what the, the baby meme is. Where are you the getting baby. this from? The baby. The baby. The baby. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it sounds like something you shouldn't have watched. The baby. The baby. If I look up that meme, is that gonna be an okay thing to watch? <laughs> So let's talk about Star Trek 4 that I didn't talk about yet. We got Star Trek 4 coming out. Chris Pine is back. And they're going to have Star Trek 4, which is, you know, even though I hate current Star Trek, and obviously it's current Star Trek is just terrible, the movies from 2009, the J.J. Abrams movies, they were, like, all right. You know, they were fun popcorn. Like, hey, let's go see what Star Trek would look like if a current action Hollywood guy directed them. All right, fine. And so even though it's not really Star Trek 100%, it's got some of the Star Trek values in it, and it's fun, and it doesn't exist because we all know that it's an alternate timeline from Star Trek that was set in the first movie. So, okay, I'll accept it, I guess. And it certainly was better than the current Star Trek TV shows on CBS. So, you know, okay, I'll see another 6, 7 out of 10 Star Trek action Star Trek movie, I guess. You know, that's not so bad. Um, So that's cool. I like Chris Pine, but, you know, that's cool. Um, Yeah, Star Trek, I would give Star Trek about 5 out of 10 because I'm a kid and mm-hmm. I don't really like Star Trek, but if people like... Star Trek, that's just your opinion. My opinion is I don't really like it. <laughs> yeah, you're a little... No, you're a little bored by it, I think. But you liked the show when we were watching it the other time. My, your, favorite, my favorite show is about, I think... Does this just turn into your your show now that no. you come in here? No. Yeah? I just want... I want to be with someone. Oh. Well, I'm going to get off here in a minute anyway. Um, my favorite Mm-hmm. You don't even know what your favorite show is. I think your favorite show is Sophia the First. Yeah, I was about to say that. I like that show. 
Yeah, me too. I just like it because it has lots of episodes. The only sad thing is that they stopped making it. By the way, they did. Yeah. Really? I kind of um, like that show too. Like I thought that was good. Got um, if a Netflix worker is here, and the person <laughs> which made Sophia, please can you make a few more episodes? I love that show. Yeah, probably thought- not gonna. Probably not watching it right now, but if you watch. It was a fun show. I liked Sophia. I could yeah. actually watch it. I mean, there's some shows that are like super cringe. Yeah, just type up the baby. <laughs> I don't know what this what just that is. I can't wait to look that up later. Type it up. The baby. The <laughs> baby. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get out of here. Um Bye. Make sure you don't be- get eaten by a baby, also known as a little da baby, and then it goes in your mouth, and then you turn into a da baby. What do you, you realize? This is like a this is like a Jeff Hardy thing you're doing here. Um, I just say it on YouTube, the baby. Okay, that you're definitely doing the Hardy Boys thing. Nope. Yeah, you are. You're doing the Hardy the Boys. Baby. You're doing the Hardy Boys thing. Do you know what I'm talking about? Just type up da baby. Starts with a D A, the baby. Well, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Ready? I don't I don't know if they still do it now, but hold on. Let's get this. We gotta get but because now they don't do it as much because they don't like the gun thing, you know? But watch this. Watch this finisher. Watch this. Burr, 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 burr. Let's see if he does it here. He's gonna go to the top rope. He goes to the top rope. And uh, watch this. See this? Oh, boom. He does it. He does this thing with his hands. See that? Now, eh, whatever. What is the okay. baby? Let's go look this up. The baby. <sighs> is this it? No. Where is it? It's supposed to be like kind of a cartoon person. This? No. This is like a rapper. Just say, just type up the baby meme. Meme. Oh, there is. This? That, yeah, I have no idea. That's so creepy, though. That's I don't think you're supposed to. Where did you see this? Um, Finn just put it on. It had. Oh. I told him. You're not supposed to watch this. This is what's going on right now. Would you just see this? Um, yeah, I told Finn to turn it off. Oh my God! Why are you letting Finn control it? He's not supposed to be on there. Oh my God! Now I've got to go. I've got to go figure this out. What the hell is <laughs> going on? Where's my? Oh my God! I gotta go. The baby. Oh my. I can't be in seven places at once, but I'm expected to be. And guess what? This is why I don't respond to people's DMs all the time. Oh, I do see the meme, though. It is a meme now. Okay. But still, like, what the hell is this? Oh, my God. I've got to go take away that controller from you guys now. What's so wrong, though? Is it because it's the baby? Because you know the lyrics of the song? Yeah, I don't know who that is. Oh, well, well he's a rap. Let's go! Hey, what, the, what are you doing, man? Stop him! Hey, get off my girl! Don't touch her, bro! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! It's Gavin. The babies, they're everywhere. What the hell is this? Let's go! Let's go! Dude, is that. What am I watching? Okay, oh my god. Alright. Thanks to everybody who is here tonight. James Mesner, Gerald Bolsey. Um try to call back next time, Bolsey. I missed a lot of calls. Uh we missed a lot of calls, but I'm sorry to the people who didn't get on. I can only take one at a time. Uh if you want to call back next time, Bolsey, we'll get into whatever. If you want, hit me up. 
Yeah, but it's too late. It's too late. We got to get out of here. I got to go figure out what Finn's doing. Peace. But watch out the end, Dad. It's so weird. No.